I had not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. <laughs> and that's what would have happened if I turned the left. Pockets, barrels, butter churns, and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seemed so familiar. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. No worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to... 
add a shinier hat to my collection. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Then I use my cleverness to hide. And that's how I do the dragon, a priest. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to Tame a Dragon, Breaking the Spirit of Hideous Beasts, Amateur Spells to Impress Your Friends With. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. 